Saubano is one of those primal words when people were still able to really see each other. In fact, the word says, we see you. So it's not a single I person. That my eyes are connected to a dimension of reality we call ancestral, ancestors. So my seeing includes my ancestors. My seeing also includes the divinities that are part of the celestial spheres of reality. So Saubona says, we see you. And the response is, Yebo Saubona, yes, we see you too. Because it's a dialogue. Seeing is a dialogue. It establishes you as a witness to some phenomena that can also be a witness to your own presence. But when two human beings meet in this gesture of Saubona, the acknowledgement is we see each other. That becomes an agreement because we're obligated from that point to affirm the reality that seeing has empowered us to investigate our mutual potentials for life. So it invites us to communicate why are we, if we're seeing each other, why are we um, here at the same time? What is this moment of time given us, given us to be able to do? So it's an invitation to participate in each other's life. Um, seeing the Saubona also obligates a person to give to each other what's needed for that moment of life to be enhanced. For me, now seeing represents uh, the question, how can I be, or how do I have to be in order for you to be free? Because I think our present civilization has uh, taken away freedoms from human beings, not because one culture oppress another, but because we lost the, in, the, the, the imagination of what sight meant, of what these um, inner capacities really mean. So for me, it's, a, it's important to reestablish the question, how do I have to be as a human being for someone else to be free? You tell me, and I would, I would explore that possibility. Because I think inwardly, we all know what, what the prerequisites are for our own freedom. Yeah. It's a type of consent. It's a type of agreement we need in order to, be, to exercise freedom. We can't do it out of self-interest. Freedom can't be pursued out of self-interest. Freedom must be a mutual gift from one human being to another recognizing that if I limit one person's freedom, I limit my own. That we can't take away something from someone that is so mutually tied to the state of existence. Freedom is not from something or to uh, achieve something. It's a freedom to be present with. From the slave ship to the chain, from the taskmaster's whip to my brain, kidnapped, enslaved, raped, and killed by the lynch clan again and again. Is it the origin of the skin or the face of a race? Why you don't care about me? Now I know you don't care about me. I'm just a nigga walking down the street. Touch a key, let me. There is 
humane in all judgments and actions of all humanity. So why don't you care about me? See, I know you don't care about me. I'm just a nigga walking down your street. The brother did nothing wrong, but now his life is gone. And I know you don't care about me. This sounds kind of strange how the same thing's been happening Over and over again, over and over again And they say the constitution's for the benefit of all It's all a lie again, it's all a lie of uh, the United States, the impact of racism has been to attempt to contain black people, has been to attempt to stifle the uh, uh, desires towards liberation. One of the ways in which this is accomplished is by trying to convince black people that they're completely powerless before this huge apparatus and that uh, the police can just come into the community and, and uh, pick someone out, kill them as they have done on many, many occasions in the past, charge them with something they didn't do, railroad them to prison, send them to the uh, gas chamber. Uh, this is just one of the many ways that uh, the system, and it's not a contrived effort in the sense that it's done consciously by a few men up at the top. It's built into the system. It's built into, uh, it's, it, it's, it's built into the nature of this society. And getting back to the question of what a revolutionary is, a rev black revolutionary realizes that uh, we cannot begin to combat racism, we cannot begin to effectively destroy racism until we've destroyed the whole system.